Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily set custom gravity for your player character and set a different level of gravity for the rest of your level and your game world. This is really basic and an easy thing to do, however for some reason there is a lot of confusion and unclarity on the same topic and I will try to address that and provide you with a kind of simple and straightforward solution to the same process. Before I get into that, if you'd like to support my channel, my work, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel or becoming my Patreon supporter. Links are in the description below. There is also a bunch of other ways how you can support me as well, but these are the easiest and most lucrative in that order, at least for me. Now, setting the custom gravity thingy. First of all, we're going to try out this world. As you can see, it's a regular world where gravity works on a kind of regular basis and it's set to a expected value. First of all, let's change that. And here in the world setting on your right side, let's search for gravity. And here we get override global gravity and we can set the value of global gravity Z to let's say 20. And we can close this, we can save and we can try it out now. Here we are in the world, everything is starting to levitate. If I shoot it, it goes all the way. If I jump, I also begin to levitate as well. If I double jump, the same happens and we are all floating. Unlike the kids in the IT novel, if anyone read that novel or watched the Stephen King adaptation. Anyway, so let's change that so that the objects and everything else remains generally in the same kind of gravitational environment, but our character is basically more or less normally moving. To do that, we need to go to the first person character and edit first person character option. Here, under the components in the event graph, we need to open up character movement. Then we'll search for gravity. And here we have gravity scale, which is custom gravity scale. Now, instead of zero, let's put this to minus 200. As it should then counteract the whole world setup. We're going to compile and save and let's try it out now. Again, everything is moving, but when we jump, we are staying down. Even our jump is somewhat restricted. So let's try to edit it to, for example, again, character movement minus, let's say 50. And again, we're going to compile, save and try it out. Everything is floating, but our jump is higher. However, still we're close to the ground. We're not gaining that lift, even though everything else is moving according to the same very, very low gravity. And it's basically flying up. Now through this interaction of the world setting gravity and first person character, character movement, gravity, gravity scale, we can kind of set up a whole range of different options and abilities that can mimic things like for example, having magnetic boots in sci-fi games where you take walks at the outside of the cosmos, or outside of a space station or a spaceship, and you're still tethered to the same plane, whatever it might be, the outside of the ship or the space station, while everything else is in free gravity, basically at zero G. Options are endless. You can also use it in different kinds of platformers, many other different games. All of them work very effectively in this setup. And as you saw, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. However, it's not that intuitive. And that's what I found out through a lot of trial and error. However, through this, again, interpolar world settings, gravity scale and first person character movement, gravity move, general setting or gravity scale, we can get that interaction which is really cool and allows you to get any kind of custom setup you might want to. 
So that's it, thanks so much for watching, this was my short Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video, hopefully you found it useful, if you did, please again consider subscribing to my channel and supporting me on Patreon, a buck or two per month would be perfect, there is also a bunch of other ways how I want to support my channel, I'll sell books, you can support me directly through crypto and PayPal donations, but of course the most... Uh, money bringing option for me is for you to subscribe to my patreon channel patreon page but the easiest cheapest and also very effective is to simply leave a like leave a comment if you have any and subscribe that's all for me thanks so much for watching have a great day and have loads of fun in your unreal engine levels bye bye